oh hello you don't know who i am but today we're going to go over our video game and video game related item pickups for the month of april ready let's get into it okay to start this off we'll go from oldest uh, to newest if you saw our last video from the washington state toy show then you will see some of these uh items that we've got but there were some other things we got from goodwill and um i think maybe a garage sale or two that just started to creep up here as the weather starts to turn uh, for the better as summer is fast approaching all right so first off we were able to reach back and find a couple things for the atari 2600 and uh, first up we got missile command see look at that great cart artwork is still great both labels are wonderful uh, and then we've got defender Another one of my favorites. Look at that artwork. That label's great too. The Atari. One of my very first uh, gaming experiences was with the Atari. And that, of course, has a lot of nostalgia and some big factors for me. Uh, the artwork. It's the artwork on all these. Look at that artwork there. I mean, you know the game isn't going to look anything like it. But that artwork just helped sell what you were doing and how you could imagine what was going on. Yeah, moving right from Atari up to the Nintendo, the original NES. Oh, we've got Breakthrough. See, there's a little bit of residue on there, but it's all right. Uh, I grabbed this one because it also came with the box. Yeah, the original box in um, fairly decent condition. See, uh, it's got a little bit of uh, it's got a little bit of wear and tear, but uh, that's to be expected. It's all right. Uh, no instruction manual, but I can pick that up uh, later on. Uh, and then we were able to get Aston X. This is a great, great side-scroller, uh, fantasy side-scrolling adventure game. Lots of fun. Look at this cool art artwork. And we got the instruction manual in very good condition. And we look inside is just as beautiful as well. So these were some great additions to have for the collection. Everything looking good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just... It's in really good condition. I've been putting in some good time with this. Uh, it is fun. Um, it's definitely giving me a good challenge. It's all fun. It's all good. It's all great. It's part of the experience. Now at the toy show, I was able to pick up uh, at least one a PS2 game, and that was a 007 Nightfire. Yeah, the one I used to have. I uh, had this for the GameCube at one point, and then... Of course, things happen, and you know, I was either, I can't remember if I let somebody borrow it, or if I ended up trading it in, or something, but anyways, don't have any more for the GameCube, but found it here for the PS2, as you saw there, full meal deal, everything in it, everything looks good, uh, so that's great, that's awesome to add. We'll show you a couple more here for the PS2, we found at Goodwill, and at Goodwill, boy, games just are getting pretty pricey there at Goodwill, aren't they? Yeah, so anyways, first up, we've got Sky Odyssey. Now, I don't know anything about this one. Uh, Activision title, so Activision from way back in the day. We'll see, it's uh, pretty beefy in here. Good size instruction manual, but it's all here. Uh, you know, this isn't too bad. It's, it's good, nice for the collection. Uh, this one here, though, this is definitely some empty calories for the collection. I just grabbed it to have, and that is the Golden Compass. There, yep. So I'm sure that it's actually a pretty good book or series of books, but the movie, the movie was not so good. But we do have everything in it, and it is all in very good condition. So, you know, I'll take that. I'll take that as a win. And, you know, could be that the actual game here is going to be more entertaining and more enjoyable than uh, watching the film. So, maybe I will have to give that a try. Maybe I'll give that a try pretty soon. See how it goes. What am I complaining about? You should see what I watch. Actually, don't. You shouldn't see. Also, at the toy show, moving up to the PS3, we grabbed this right here. Star Wars Force Unleashed 2 um have this one digitally but that's all right like i said it's always good to grow 
that's all right. It's always good to add to the physical collection. And this even came with an instruction manual, which, as you know, in the PS3 and the 360 era was when we really started to lose out and um, everybody started to shy away and push back and not have instruction manuals with everything. And that is, that's a darn shame because those were so fun to have because to be able to thumb through and to read and to just peruse when you weren't playing it or just thinking about playing it. You know, you've been there, you've done it. Uh, then also at the Goodwill, we've got, I, these are definitely more filler uh, for the PS3 collection and, and more, um, yeah, more empty calories really. And that is uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas. Um, Tom Clancy stuff, you know, what I did play of Tom Clancy early on were the um, Ghost Recon, uh, like the Ghost Recon 1 and 2, um, but even those, I haven't played any of the new ones. And then we picked up iPet from the Goodwill. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. Well, I haven't set up the PlayStation Move on the PS3 in quite a while, so maybe this will give me a reason to give a, give a little try again, see what it's all about. I think it's like some uh, augmented reality kind of stuff. Really, it's okay. In the long run, look, it's full. Everything's in there. Um, decent instruction manual, but then the real treat is, well, first take another look. See here? All right. Now, and you take out the instruction manual, and then you're greeted to this. I don't know, maybe that's cute. Maybe that's cute, not so bad, but it was kind of kind of uh, scary uh, when I first pulled out the instructions to look at it and saw that thing just right there in my face. So, here we go. iPad. Now, our last actual game that we'll be talking about in this uh, pickup for a April uh, is... A big one for the PS4, and my big as in it's a big packaging. Uh, for me, I've never played these games, but I'm going to give it a shot at some point. And that is Mafia 3 Collector's Edition. Ugh. There you go. There it is. Got this at the toy show. For a very good price. And this is just full of stuff. You've got uh, the full game, um, all of its bonuses and DLC, which at this point, I'm sure those uh, voucher cards that are in there are um, expired. Um, you get an art book, there's dog tags. I mean, I, I'm guessing the main character must have been in the military at some point. Uh, you get uh, drink coasters, because drink coasters, probably cheap. And uh, then there's two vinyl records in here. So that's awesome. You know, one for the game score itself and then one for the soundtrack. So uh, that's really cool. Um, it's still all sealed up, you see. So I've not yet, I've not yet decided to rip it open. Some point I will, um, I, you know. Um, Mafia 3. You guys ever play Mafia 3? Did you ever play Mafia 1 or 2? From the looks of it, and reading a little bit on the back of uh, the large box here, sounds like it's kind of like a GTA kind of thing. I don't know. If you've played them, let me know what to expect. All right, now let's move on to our game-related items, which this month we ended up with several. All right, the first one here to uh, review and look at is um, Big Figurine, which... Uh, Boy, I don't buy too many of them, but this one I had to grab. This was Vincent Valentine from Final Fantasy VII. I've cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, you could barely see him. It was all covered in kind of dust and grime. Uh, the box, as you see, is really beat up. But even that, eesh, even that, as I said before, has a bit of charm to it and gives it some good character. I just might have to pull Vincent out here and put him on display, possibly, right? You know? Because sometimes when you buy these things, you got to open them up, pull them out, put them on display, use them a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. You can do that. 
Uh, then something from Goodwill that we found was uh, a small little Starlink packet. Uh, you know, right? Did you ever do Starlink? I have like one of the starter packs somewhere here, I think for the PS4. Um, but this was just a couple bucks. So I grabbed it just in case I do play it and pop it open. Uh, I'll have a couple of things for it, right? The the Crusher and the Shredder Mark II. Um, this sounds great. I'm sure they'll be awesome on my little spaceship and I will be able to shoot many bad guys down. And then over at Walmart, I believe this is Walmart, we found a few things on sale during uh, throughout the month. We checked in on some stuff. I was able to grab a Goomba because uh, Goombas are great. Classic enemy. Classic enemy to uh, jump and stomp on. Just, you always get good memories when you see a Goomba. And then a great find, which was, I think, on sale even when I grabbed this. That was uh, Samus there from Walmart. Look at that. That is a cool little figurine. I think that's great. A little bit of the back there. You know, it was like um, eight or ten bucks when I saw it and just uh, grabbed it. Well, I knew I had to have it anyway, just because it was Samus, but um, I was like, yeah, for that price, for that price, sign me up. Let's go back to the toy show for a second. And these I grabbed because, man, they just caught my eye and looked really neat. And that was a set of four controllers that are Christmas ornaments. They all have some good weight to them. It's not cheap design. Uh, they look great. They feel good. This is going to be a great addition to the Christmas tree. And then we go to the last but not least. Uh, this was found at Goodwill as well. Uh, this was just, what was it? Uh, let's take a quick peek here. Cheat. This was $3. It might have been even half off, but I don't think it was. And usually, no. No, I do. I buy plenty of board games for uh, that are video game related. And this happened to be Monopoly Animal Crossing Edition. Yeah, the box is still in really good condition. And of course, most importantly, all the, um, you know, all your little Animal Crossing figures were included and still here. And none of them are in bad shape nothing is hurt or beat up or broken they all look great so that's really cool fun little find you know any way that you can make monopoly more enjoyable is a good thing right and i'm sure playing it as animal crossing edition should be pretty fun so you know what there we go and then all the other cards and little doodad things are in here too. So it was a great deal at three bucks. I couldn't say no, I had to get it. So yeah, there we have it. That was everything we picked up for the month of April. A pretty good month, all in all. Uh, plenty of video games, some pretty good video game related items, uh, good stuff for the collection. Anyways, you know what? Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments below what maybe you picked up for the month of April or uh, any of the items that I did get uh, that you had or do have or like or didn't like. You know what? Let's let's get a conversation going. All right. So we'll say thanks for watching and as always, game on.